Jedi channel. Today we're going to look at how to do some animation on Tableau. We're going to be using the 2020 Tableau Sample Superstore. If you have the 2016, that'll be just fine. Just your dates will be a little different. No big deal. Okay, let's just make a simple chart here. Let's go ahead and start with date. Bring date to your column. Let's go ahead and change that. Let's look at quarters. Okay, let's go ahead and bring profit over to your row. Going to try to do this slow for you folks. You know, I uh, I can't stand when I'm looking at some of these tutorials and they just go way too fast. So I try to go slow. Okay, so we have it's automatic in line. I'm going to go ahead and change this to circle. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and click on Format, come down to Animations. Go ahead and turn this on. Your duration, I like 50 seconds, you can do 30 real fast, a uh, minute slow, very slow, two minutes. I go ahead and stick with medium. Go ahead and try that. You can always play around with it. Style, sequential. I'll leave that there. Okay. Now, here's what you want to do. Order date. Take your order date and take it to the pages card. Okay. Now, we have quarter. You need to go ahead and match this up. So, go ahead and right quick, click it. Come down to quarter year. Okay. Now, notice this is discrete. This is in continuous. Remember, Tableau green is continuous. Blue is discrete. If you try to change it to continuous, that's what's going to happen. Here's the reason why. This has nothing to do with this chart. This has to do with your animation. And obviously you want it discrete because you want it to go through. It's like the old film where it, the old film was made up of a series of pictures so now come over here and this is your animation filter okay this is your play button your pause button now notice it starts going through every quarter of every year stop Obviously, you can reverse. Okay. Well, let's put some lines on here. This is where we're just going to play around with this. Okay. You want to show history. That's where, if you want it to create lines, that's what you're going to have to do. So, show history. Okay. Let's go ahead. And what you need to do, go to click all. Length all. I don't really mess with the last. The what the last is is it goes back so many whatever you program it. I go to all trails, marks, trails, or both. Whatever you want. We'll go ahead and just stick with both. Okay. So you can format it. You can the trails you can format. Here, change it to whatever color. You can change it to whatever width. I, I'll show you in a minute. We'll have multiple lines. I will tend to go ahead and, and take the line down when I have multiple lines. So you can have it like that, like that. Continuous line. We'll stop here, here and I'll, I'll show you that. Let's, let's just go ahead and show you multiple lines. Let's go ahead and slice and dice this profit by category. Let's go ahead and use category. Okay. So now you have that. Go ahead and press play and I'll show you. And also over here you have slow, medium, and fast. Okay. That's slow mode. That's fast mode. I usually just stick with medium. Okay. 
I'm back to this. Like I said, formatting these marks. When I have multiple lines, I like to kind of back it down just a little bit. So we'll stick with that for now. Now, you also can go up here. You can show title, edit title, loop playback. It'll just play in a continuous loop. Hide card. Customize. Show page readout. Show page slider. Show playback controls. Show history channels. Pretty self-explanatory. But if you want to add some numbers over here, well, let's do that. Let's put profit on label. I'll play this here. Okay. All right. Those numbers, we need to do something about those numbers. Let's go ahead and format those numbers. Okay. Come up to label. I want to go ahead and put them in bold. Yeah, that's pretty good. That color's pretty good. Let me go ahead and I want to format this. So right click on profit, default properties, number formatting. I want to go to currency, custom currency. Click on it. Okay. Come over to display units and display. Depending on what you, if you're dealing with millions, if you're dealing with thousands, okay. Decimals, I'm just going to go ahead and take them out. Let's see how that looks. Okay. That's a lot cleaner right there. So let's go, bit, go ahead and play that again. And there you go. And you could go ahead and play around with this. So that's a basic tutorial on how to do animations. It kind of spices things up. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos to come, go ahead and subscribe. And once again, thank you for tuning in on the Tableau Jedi channel.